So you're saying I should like start it right now? Huh? You're saying I should start it like... Yeah, yeah. You should start it. You should start your channel. Right I mean, now. you know, I could try. Right. How does this thing work? <laughs> It has a little spirit level. Look at that! Where does this go? It's like... Oh my god. As soon as I look at this, I realise I am totally going to use this for watching YouTube in bed. Like, like, look at this. See? Look. Look how perfect this is. I didn't put this bit in. Um, well, it seems like it's not important. At this point in my life, I feel like I have a lot of really normal concerns. Stuff like, what is my future gonna be like? What am I gonna become after graduation? What am I gonna do for the next 10 weeks? Career in like April, May time is like a paradise to me. All of the colors and the animals, the sounds that you hear every day, the people that you pass by, the society itself just feels like the kind of place I want to be. I'm here doing YouTube now because my mate Mickey, who's a proper YouTuber, he featured me on his channel quite a lot and I kind of became like a bit of a special person in that circle of Mickey's channel. And I was just wondering to myself, you know, why do people think about me that way? You know, is it just because of Mickey's good editing that's showing me in a good light, you know? If I try and present myself how I see myself, am I still gonna be interested? You alright? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's <laughs> inside, she's asleep with the kitten. <laughs> oh, it's dead! <laughs> Bye then! Loud. I'm not too mad about it though because you know I spent all day indoors yesterday and it gets me out of the house. <laughs> Anytime that I go to a new place it's kind of like that one good bit in The Hobbit where he's like I'm going on an adventure. That's me. My host mother told me about one dermatologist next to Gosoft Terminal so that's where I'm going now and I'm also keeping an eye out for other, other clinics if I pass by them. <laughs> I just, it's just gonna be a worry about the money, you know? Going to the doctor for me can be anywhere between E Man 1 and O Man 1, just for the doctor, not even for buying the medicine. So that's a bit of a worry. If it's too expensive, I literally will just say to them, like, do you know where a cheaper hospital is? In England, we have the system of government hospitals, and they're great, and I love them, and I support them. And I'm 100% in favour of universal healthcare, you know, because even with the Korean system where it's just maybe like Ochonwon per visit, there are going to be people here who cannot afford that Ochonwon, you know? No matter how low you set the bar, there will always be people who can't meet it. And that's not necessarily their fault. Because they've been so badly mismanaged and underfunded due to financial crisis and other things, the, uh, the government hospitals are now in chaos. So, a lot of the time we get told not to go to the doctor in England. Just 
like, don't go to the doctor if it's not an emergency, please don't go. So we're very used to treating things at home by ourselves. Any of these a dermatologist? I don't think so. There it is, look. No, I can't read it. Yeah, you want Kibu everyone. That's the one my host mother told me about. Oh look, there's loads of people bars. Look, there's one here called SD. See that SD. There's another one here called BNC. Okay, maybe this isn't the right one. It says it's for Botox. I'm just gonna go. Okay, so I went to the Botox uh, people bar and I asked them like where a more cheaper people buy is because I don't have insurance and they pointed me to this one which is on the floor above in the same building and they said that it's going to be about Sabman one but to come back at two o'clock because it's lunchtime. Look at these awesome rich people's apartments. Look at how cool they are. And so our brave hero just sort of awkwardly went up and down the stairs for a little bit before taking a short excursion to a Daiso and having a drink and thereafter returning to her quest to find a cure for her crippling allergy. <laughs> oh god, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> okay, so the doctor gave me the Chobangjong, the prescription, so now I'm going to go to the pharmacy and it was way cheaper than I expected actually. It's 15,000. So, that's good. The pharmacy grandmother was really lovely. Um, she said that she spoke a little bit of English because she lived in America and Canada for five years. And then she gave me this free vitamin drink, which I'm probably going to drink now because it actually now turned into a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Everybody certainly has umbrellas. And I have nothing but grandmother's vitamin drink. Well, <laughs> I have no choice but to walk home, so here we go. Yeah. 